Hello. Um, for our globalization project, we researched palm oil, and so that's what we will be presenting. I'm also going to say change um, when I switch slides so people know when I change because it's very laggy. I'm sorry, it's a technical difficulty, but it must be done. Okay, change. Palm oil is something that we use in our everyday lives. It's in a lot of the food we eat and in a lot of daily products like shampoo and deodorant. Um, it's nutritious and it would be hard to imagine living without it. Um, however, the product of palm oil has many negative effects on the environment, including the destruction of peatlands and forests. And it also contributes to carbon dioxide emissions. But luckily, there are ways that we can make this production more sustainable so that we can still use the palm oil and minimize the effects on the environment. Uh, through globalization of this product, higher demand, which leads to an increase in these environmental issues, the global community is also working together to solve these problems. Change. Um, so palm oil can be produced sustainably. Um, a lot of people have been pushing for palm oil to be replaced, but this is not a solution as palm oil is nutritious and it wouldn't solve the environmental problems either. Um, sustain sustainability initiatives include the European Palm Oil Alliance, an organization of several European countries that work towards the goal of 100% sustainable palm oil production. Um, they work with palm oil producers and refiners in a sort of business initiative. Um, they're leading the public debate on palm oil and they work through the supply chain and with monitors um, in individual countries. Um, a study was done on 40 of the largest companies that sell products in the US. And so far, that study has shown a lot of improvement in these companies when it comes to sustainable palm oil use. Um, its production can also help nations overcome other issues, uh, such as poverty, and it can boost socioeconomic development change while there are benefits there are also downsides um, palm oil cultivation in the indonesian forest was responsible for two to nine percent of worldwide emissions um, between 2000 and 2010 um, but this is uh, a, a high amount for just one area um, it also takes a toll on biodiversity uh, about 15 percent of native animal species can survive the transition from primary forest to plantation. Um, among the species uh, that are vulnerable to palm oil um, are, uh, that are vulnerable to palm oil expansion are orangutans, tigers, rhinoceros, and elephants, mostly because trees are um, destroyed uh, for uh, that their habitats are destroyed. Um, also, uh, palm oil growers, um, have been accused of like using forced labor and seizing land from local populations. So the process of growing palm oil can bring an effect to other people. Change. Some benefits of palm oil. Um, uh, it actually has influenced the invention of a monitoring system that tracks deforestation. So it tracks when trees uh, are fall over um, it also, uh, uh, physically wise, um, when you eat it, it uh, protects you from neurodegeneration and lowers the risk of heart disease and gives you plenty of uh, vitamins. Change. So going back to what I, uh, Isaiah said earlier about the downsides, palm oil plantations are the leading cause of deforestation and because of the very, very high supply and demand, this makes farmers have to grow um, palm oil in very, very large quantities. So this leads to deforestation. This also um, leads to less local farmers um, growing palm oil in small plantations. And this deforestation, like Isaiah mentioned, also leads to bio, less biodiverse rainforests and um, many endangered, endangered species including um, one of Indonesia's orangutans, which has, its population has decreased by 50% since um, palm oil plantations and large palm oil plantations have begun to grow like global, globally.
change. So conclusion. So overall, there are many benefits and many downsides to palm oil um, right now. Um, the overall benefits include that it's very useful in many different products and also has helped some developing countries um, get, by giving more people jobs and helping their economy. But there are many downsides as well, including deforestation, endangerment of animals, which all eventually leads to global warming. But luckily, there have been some efforts to improve the style of production. Thank you. Um, here is our bibliography. And yeah.